Welcome back to the series in which I show you how I made 30 lo-fi beats or tracks in 30 days. I wish I could tell you that everything that you see in this video series are free but as some of you might have already heard, BandLab is pulling the plug on the support for the free Cakewalk dough and this is gonna happen when they release their two new products in a year or two. So now I can only say that most of the plugins in this video series are free because I did get some paid plugins when they were on some kind of offer or something like that. And also please understand that I'm not exactly quick with my music production. It might seem like that in this video but it's the magic of editing. And finally all the 30 beats that I made in this challenge are available in all streaming platforms which will be linked down in the video description. And with that let's continue from where we left off. So let's get into the 20th beat. Let's use C minor. That is enough. Okay, I feel like this one needs a top thing going on. Interesting, I got the notes by ear. Duplicate this track. And this one's gonna work as lead with a different electric piano. It's a little more centered. I think I got something, so let's record that. Let's record a kick pattern. Definitely need to change that snare. Tape the set. Messy, too messy. It has to be simple. Oh. Okay, I got something, I got something. We are going to record that. Okay, I didn't add the bass, which is one of the things that I usually add first. Okay, EQ out the low in the electric piano. Piano, groove, piano. Ah, oh, okay, sustain. Let's copy this origin to uh, give that vibe. Okay, now let's try something. After playing around for a while, I decided to change the sound into Whirly in Labs and also came up with this outro melody. Let's record that now. That's enough. Uh, let me arrange it a little bit more and we'll be done with this beat. And here is the final beat.
when I started to work on a project, electricity is gone. Well, I still have to work. So the problem is I cannot screen record because it will take a little more CPU process, which will drain more power. So I'll have to show you this project later or maybe start the screen recording from when the electricity comes. Hey, the power is back now and this is our progress. Yeah, I wanted a different kind of timing for the chord changes. Now let's continue. I feel like I shouldn't use a kick that is too deep for this particular track, so let's go a little high. Let me try out some ideas. So I played around and came up with a melody, which we are going to record. By the way, we don't have to introduce this melody from the beginning like I've been doing for other songs because this chord progression is quite interesting on its own. So let that sink into the listener's mind first and then we'll introduce the melody. This weird timing in the chord, not that weird, but it might throw away listeners in the beginning. So I'm going to uh, try to introduce the percussion here also. I'm going to choose a different instrument for that lead on the top. So what sound? I want to use it, but we will use that as a layer for the lead. So duplicate again. Uh, let's find a sound. No, cloud piano. Piano, strumming, control A, run cal, strum it, okay, uh, with uh, 30, I don't want too much of it, just a little bit, okay, okay. So I finished arranging the beat and one thing that I added is this pad thing here using the plugin Lo-Fi Lite. Now without this, our beat goes like this. Now it might be a little bit off-putting because of the weird chord timing. So I've added this pad and I added this Flux Mini plugin to automate the volume continuously with the shape. So we get a sense of rhythm going on. And in addition to that, I've also added this pancake to do left-right panning. So together there is that movement. So now we have this. There is something to establish the tempo or rhythm and here is our beat. I have something in the keys, we will record it. Now let's get a kick going. Should I have some fun in the bass? I'm not sure, let's test it out. I like the simple ones. Okay, I like this one. Change the snare now. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this snare, this tonal snare is in C, which means it fits our scale. Okay, uh, I need a different sound here in this. Probably gonna use piano. Okay, I don't think I want a kick that's that heavy. Okay, kind of fine. I'm a little bit out of ideas. Oh, I'll come back to this later. I'm feeling hungry. So I took some time off and uh, came back. I did get something here. We'll record that into the piano track. Something like that. Let's take these uh, top notes into a different piano sound. Where are the tape piano? Yeah, okay. Tape head. Hmm, what about? I think I like that. There is some character to it. And uh, I'm going to arrange it. We'll also add reverb automation. Okay, that's cool. Let me look for some percussion loops now. Okay, I can't read the full full name here. So let me bring the browser here. Okay, 80 BPM. Oh, okay, that's that's our project tempo. Definitely have to change that. Let's take this guy here. This one here. This, oh, this one here. Move this here, move this here. So I've extended our beat and now I need kind of a B section. So let's add low fi light. Okay, I like this sound, but it has a little too much energy towards the lower end of this frequency spectrum. That's a good start. We already got a good start. Why not record it? The rest we have to figure out. Let's record. Let me listen to it to see if it needs anything more. Okay, it can have something from here onwards, a little bit of percussion. Now it helps with the rule of something changes every eight bars. That's one of the ways we can keep the music interesting. So I heard it and I like it. And here is our beat. For today's lo-fi, I want to use a sample. So let's look for some samples. Okay, I think I want to take this sample in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I think I should go slower. Also going to transpose it one semitone you might have to go to process and transpose but I have added the transpose thing here in the control bar so I can just click here and minus one okay, it's transpose now anyway we have to change it to make it unique split 
there and split here and split here. This goes to left and this goes to right. Wait, there is obviously one thing that I can do. Split these like this and hold down Alt and Shift keys and we can move this like that. Now because we have snap settings turned on, it will snap into place. We just made these two clips swap places. Both of them can be moved. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I just noticed this. The splitting only happens on one of these selected clips if I click on the bottom half with the Alt pressed. But if I click on the top half, then it happens on both these clips. That's cool. The more you know. Uh, reverse. So we have this pattern now and I'm just going to bounce them to single audio clips. Okay. I'm just going to write down the bass notes which I think are right. Okay, now I'm going to make them into chords. Little bit of jazz flavor. Let's change the piano. Piano. Contact player. There is the upright bass in it, which could go well with this. Tape piano. I think I should add the kick drums before I mess around in the piano. So yeah, let's do that. I think I want to use this one. Now let's go get some cymbals. Okay, that's cool. Now I'm going to try some piano. So after so much time, I got something and we are going to record that. Should it go one octave down? Okay, cool. And with that, this project is done. So here is its preview. For today, it seems like the keyboard is having connectivity issues again, which means we will have to start the project by drawing the MIDI on the piano roll. Anyway, let's get to today's production. It's a little too low, so let's flip it. Let's try a different piano. This is Keys 1 Classic. Obviously, I'm going to load Labs. Let's get the bass action going. Okay, cool. I think I want to use a guitar sample. Okay, okay, this is cool. A little bit unnatural, so let's go 70. So this is an 
F sharp minor and if we transpose it one semitone up we'll get the sample to be in G minor which is the scale we are working in or we could have easily transposed this MIDI down but let's just change the pitch of the sample because I do want to manipulate the sample in some way to figure out a way to make this work let's get delay what if we reverse this i think it works now it's time for the kick Now let's look for some drum loops. Let's look for other loops. Come on keyboard, what's wrong with you? Come on. This will show up, but... <laughs> okay. Okay, let's... I got an idea, let's record. Let's filter it out when this piano comes in. I mean, filter out the guitar. That's it. I don't like this perk. Let's get a simple hi-hat. That's fine by me. I'm gonna do a little bit of mixing, mastering, and then we'll upload it. So here is our beat. For the next beat, we are going to start with this chord progression. Let me try to increase the attack. I like this. I want to make it sound more lo fi ish. Wow, I like it. I need origin on the snare. Okay, that's cool. Need hi hats. Keeping it simple. Let's look for open hi hats. Hmm. Definitely need the origin plugin. This is better the actual rods with shorter attack before laying down the rods i think i want to lay down a bass line so here we have bass engine loaded and we will try something out now let's try something with the rods Quantization with 60% strength, not duration. Okay. Let's add pancake to that. Let's try a different kick. We need something more, just a little bit. The whole vibe of the track is quite delicate. So I want to add something like that.
That's enough, that's enough. I think this should be fine. You see, uh, since the melody is coming in in the beginning, we don't need the hi-hat to be that loud anymore. So let's uh, automate it with a lower volume. I think I'm done with this and so here is the track. That's it for this part. Here is the next one. Probably it's gonna be the last one. And please do consider subscribing to my LoFi channel. This is ADK, aka Meek Motif, and I will see you here. Take care.